Okay, so first of all, I have here a graph with some random data on it, and I'm going to double click on this to get the format bar to open up. Then I'm going to select series one and marker, and then marker options, and I'm going to change it from automatic to built in. And now I have various different options. I can change the size of the dots, and then I can also change their shape. So there's square, and diamond and triangle and then circle which is the default option. I can also change the border on here so I can make this black and then increase the size of it a little bit more and then I can also on here select a cross. Now if I have both the border and the fill be the same colour on here, it will just look like a little square. So you have to remove the fill in order to make it look like a cross. And then I'm going to increase the size of this a little bit more to make it stand out. Then there's also a star with three lines as an option. And then also a plus sign on here and I can change the dash type on here to little dots. Then if I increase this a bit more, it will look like a dotted cross. And I can also change this to a square and then have a dotted border, or I could have a normal border or a double line border. So it looks like this. Then I also have the option of having a little dash. I'm going to change the border back to automatic and the fill back to automatic. And then that's what the little dash looks like. And then there's a larger dash as an option as well. I am just going to change this back to circle now. And if I remove the border, then I can have a look at some of the fill options. So obviously there's solid fill and then I can select any color that I want. I can also increase the transparency, which is useful if there are data points that overlap with each other. Then there is the gradient fill and I can change the type on here to uh, radial, for example, and I can change the direction to this one. And then I can change the colors on here to be whatever I want them to be. I'm going to remove that and remove that. And then I have a dot that looks something like that. I can also select a pattern fill. So I can select any one of these and then also change the foreground and the background to be whatever colors I want them to be. I also have picture or texture fill. So I can select any one of these textures to be my fill. And then I can also insert pictures. So I can insert a picture from online. So if I, for example, select a sun and then select this image and go insert, then all of my data points are now little suns. I can also insert a picture from a file. So this is just an image that I downloaded off of the internet. But I can insert this in here. And now all of my data points are little pins. There is also an option up here to insert an image. But if I do it using this method, then I end up with really massive images. So I don't like using that. So I'm going to undo that. Then also I can open up a PowerPoint slide and then go to insert and insert a shape, for example, a circle. And then I can remove the outline on here and change the shape fill. And then I can add a shape effect. For example, I can use this one. Then if I right click on here and do save as picture, I can then save this as a picture. So I'm just going to call this dot and then save. And then if I go back to Excel and then go insert picture from file, I can then insert this image that I just created. 
and I end up with dots that look something like this, that look slightly 3D. And obviously, if I use PowerPoint as an option, I have lots more different options when it comes to the shapes of the markers. Now I can also, in PowerPoint, insert a text box and then go insert and symbol. And then I can select any symbol that I want. So for example, I can type in wingdings in here. And then if I scroll down to the bottom and select this image and then go insert and then close that, I can then use this image. So I can also change the color of it. And then I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to select this and copy it. And then I'm going to paste it as a picture. So I have it in the format that I want it. Then I'm going to select this and copy it again. And this time I'm going to open up Excel and I'm going to insert picture from clipboard. And this is the image that I just copied. And it's kind of small now because the border is very large on here. So I'm going to increase the size of that. So there are lots of different options for markers in Excel. Okay, and that is it.